Hi, I'm Ron Johnson of RJ's Farm Horsemanship Communication. Um, I wanted to do a video on uh, the importance of seeking approval. Um, you know, there's my buddy here. Um, to me, it's real important to have a horse want to be a part of things. Um, you know, so we first have to get acceptance, seek approval, which will lead to appreciation. So, um, you know, to me, what does your horse do when you go get them? You know, like before we started this camera, Stoney saw me approaching the fence and he come right over, you know, and he actually, he tries to put the, all I got to do is show him the halter. Oh, I just told him not to. So now he's saying, what, now you want me to? Come on, come on. Now, I don't care if he's 100 feet away, he's going to come right over and put that halter on because he wants to go out. Um, he wants to go do stuff. He, that's what he wants to do. So, um, and I'm doing this video here because we got five horses in the herd here and, you know, Stoney and Shay are really good at it. Um, they're my horses and, and, and they do awesome. Uh, Bo lives here. He's my niece's horse. Um, uh, you know, and, and uh, I do this with him every now and then, but um, I don't train on him. Um, I help my niece, give her advice, but she does all the work. Um, but he does reasonably well with it still. Um, so anyways, the other two are customer horses. Uh, the gray one is Draper, and the, uh, I guess you, he's kind of a buckskin done. Uh, he, that's Luke, and um, he's kind of the main reason why I'm doing this today, because he runs away from his owner. Um, he gives very, very disapproval looks and stares and kind of pins his ears and uh, stuff like that. So I wanted to kind of do a, a, a video, one for her to see and one for everybody else to see. You know, we want to seek out approval and, and get them to want to be a part of things. So... I'm approaching here and I'm paying attention to what he's thinking like right here he's kind of paying attention to me but you know he, he wants the food so I've got to respect that um, but at the same time I want to kind of put a little energy into his hip to say hey will you be a part of this so he says I will we we need you to leave me alone right now I know I know I told you to leave me alone earlier and then I asked you to come back Okay. Nope. Nope. Shay, you want to do it? You want to show everybody how it's supposed to be done? Huh? Show everybody how it's supposed to be done. Come on. Good boy. Come on. You gonna come? Good boy. Good boy. So, that's kind of what we want. You know, if we have that, then we know they're at least willing. There was a little bit of resistance, so he, he wasn't 100% approving. Um, you know, but we, we want to have a minimum of that before, you know, if your horse runs away from you or... So right here, I just requested that he leaves the hay and comes with me, you know. And he says, sure, I'll do that. You know? So, now I have approval. I can move on. I don't, I don't want to move on with a horse that wants nothing to do with me. So, here, we'll do Draper here before we go over and do Luke. And see how Draper feels. Come on, buddy. So, he's thinking about leaving. So, I'm going to just back up. Good boy. Now, you'll notice he came to me with his feet first. He didn't turn his head then come. He kind of did this and came. So that says, I kind of approve, but I got some apprehensions. You know, so we want to keep that in mind and, and, and work on getting that pole bent and that neck bent and come to us, you know. So I'm going to go to Luke now. Hopefully you got a good view of Luke. Um... So, and see, he's probably going to walk off, but, oh, 
I guess not. So you can see, good boy. So instead of going to him, I might, oh, I'm gonna just kind of creep in, put a little energy on his hip, encourage him to look. He's thinking about leaving, so I'm gonna back up. So now I'm gonna say thank you for looking. I'm gonna ask him, can I approach? He says, I'd rather have the hay. So I'll say, okay, well, you can have a bite. But can I get your attention while you're eating? Now he's coming, but he's doing the same thing Draper was doing. You know, so he, he there's a little apprehension. Good boy. So now I'm going to walk away from him just to say thank you. You know, um, and, and he did the same thing Draper did. He came at me with his feet first. He didn't bend softly into me. So I had, now, now Draper wants to be a part of this. Draper says, hey, I'll go with you. Um, you know, so when, and Luke's thinking about coming over. No, he's thinking about going around Stony. Okay. Um, you know, so, so the importance of approval at this stage, you know, I mean, it's no fun to have to chase your horse when you want to go hang out with them, you know, and, and if you don't have this, then you probably shouldn't be getting on. I know a lot of people do, but um, I make it a habit of not. If I don't have this, I typically won't get on, um, you know, and, and, you know, Luke was here previously. And uh, we had him for two weeks, and then he was gone for a month, and now he's back again. We're at the end of his first week. He's got one more week. Um, and the end of the, you know, the two weeks, he was coming to me. Um, but being gone a month, um, it probably wasn't being reinforced. Um, I can't say. I don't know. I don't know how they, you know, how he was kept and uh, what kind of practices they have. Um, but to me, this is important. And I reinforce this all the time. So I'm going to push on the hip as a request. If he's willing to do that, then I'll request he comes to me. And if he's willing to do that, then I'll approach. So there's some apprehension here. You can see it in his ears and his eyes and, and how tight he bites on his jaw. You know, we just want to build. See, again, the feet are coming. Oh, he's thinking about leaving. So here I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of push him around a little bit. Just a request. Will you go back over that way? Will you go back over that way? He's like, ah, I don't think so. So I'm going to say, well, how about if I draw you? Will you come with me? You see that expression? That says it all right there. It's like, oh my God, please. You know? So, okay. I get it. I get it. What do you think? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And I want to reward those efforts so that the next time it's better. You know, and what he was saying to me is, I really want to eat. I don't want no part of you. So I'm going to leave him alone now for a little while. And I'm definitely going to do more of this because he needs it. Um, so hopefully this is good information for you all. And um, yeah. Uh, I, I hope you find it as important as I do and, and, and you go out and make this part of your practice because this will make everything better. Just by having this, everything gets better. So thank you for watching. appreciate your time.